Hey guys, today I bring you a way for you to change your players or your player's character's hair um, by the press of a button. Okay, that works. <laughs> so I'll show it to you first things. Um, so as you can see, if I'm walking around, I press A and my hair changes. And I press A again and my hair goes back. Voila. Th this can work with any clothing property, any property essentially that isn't. Mm, isn't changeable with the brain. Well, any property at all, but I mean, like, it's preferable. It's only used when you can't change it within the brain. For instance, hair color or the model of your character or anything like that. So, um, first things first, the way that I did this was, as you can notice, these are both templates. And, um, these are both templates. So, when you first start out, you don't have a character until this goes which says create player with original hair and it'll only do it once and then we'll go into this and then this is basically just a generic hair um, generic player and then and then um, what it does is it creates the player and then it goes through this brain so it'll do once, me equals forward equals, uh, this will basically do, obviously do it once, and then my forward equals my creator's forward, so that means that the box is forward, or the logic cube's forward is equal to this new character's forward, and then it'll destroy its creator, which isn't really a bad thing, because it's like, you only need the logic cube to start the sequence of players. And then after a counter timer of one frame, it'll call page change hair. So we'll go to change hair. Then once change hair equals false, counter timer one in frames, A is pressed, change hair equals true. So once A is pressed, it'll change hair. It'll 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 make change hair equal to true. When change hair is equal to true, it'll create a player with changed hair at position at my current position. And then it'll become the change the player's changed hair. Also, um, so yeah, and then we'll go into here, and then you're like, okay, well, this is the exact same thing as the last one. Well, yeah, I mean, it's for, to loop back and forth. So, so yeah, it'll destroy its creator, it'll set its forward equal to its previous forward. Um, some things to note with this is that you want your meters to count, uh, have a counter timer of one frame so that you don't have duplicating meters for one frame. That's the only issue, is because... Yeah, and also uh, follow camera chances and type. You want it to ease between transition um, instead of just instantaneously because it'll look really weird. I'm actually going to try something real quickly. I want to see what this looks like. I think this might actually end up looking better. Well, look. Nah, I don't really like it. But yeah. Um, so what it does is it just makes sure that... Um, your camera doesn't like mess up or whatever. Something to note, you can duplicate characters uh, with this. What you need is some sort of like lever or something that isn't, can't be instantaneously pressed. Like if there's lag in the game at all and you press A, it'll, every single time you press A, if you press A rapidly, it'll count every single time you press A and then it'll duplicate characters like this. Spamming it as fast as I can right now. And yeah, it'll duplicate the characters, so now you have a massive army of characters. Hooray! Let's walk off to our drown our drowning and yeah. Uh, that was a lot of lag. Anyways, um so yeah. But you want a practical use of this is like maybe when uh it'll only ch it, it can only change once or for a certain period of time it'll change once, not not like or activated by something like an in-game event, not a button on your controller. Because if you do it faster than the game is loading, then yes, you will duplicate players. But yeah, um, this works. The only thing that I would like to change, but I can't, is the fact that first of all, he stops moving. He stops his movement, so he'll like jerk around the camera a little bit. But that's um. Like, the camera will zoom in and out if you're standing still. It'll reset the um, model. And you also notice that it, it starts with uh, 
with the arms to the side T pose they call it um whenever I press A for one frame you'll see a T pose T pose and um that's just be that's just how it happens I mean I don't know whatever it's not a big deal but anyways um so yeah thank you guys for watching um one also last thing I'm gonna say is that these are these two things are templates so and then all I did was just select them in in world picker and then yeah there you go and um yeah thank you guys for watching and show to you one last time we'll go press a and I'll switch characters here and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you all later